Well, I'm sure you've all seen the annoying orange and been wondering how to do this effect. This effect can be done in After Effects and today I'm going to show you how to do just that. First thing you want to do is set up a camera on a tripod and record someone talking. They don't have to keep their head extra still. Uh, what we have here is a video of a person talking and saying something. He's actually going to be on this beach ball that I took a photo of. Um, so let's add his face. First thing I'm going to do is drag my footage into the After Effects project. I got my beach ball footage as well as my beach ball uh, JPEG image. And I'm going to click and drag this beach ball footage down into the new composition. And what this is going to do is just make a new comp the exact length of the footage. Now I want to get rid of that footage and drag in my beach ball photo so that the photo is going to be the exact length of the footage as well. Now what I want to I want to rename this beach ball footage uh, comp so I'm going to click up here and hit enter and I'm going to name it to uh, beach ball final okay and now what I want to do is click and drag my footage once again to another comp and this comp we're going to stabilize this footage by going to window tracker and we're going to click stabilize motion now what this is going to do is actually going to stabilize everything that we set these track points to so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to add this track point to a decent area that's not going to move as much uh, I'm going to try and put it around this area and hopefully it works there. We also want to track the rotation and it's going to bring up another tracker which we can just add to this other eye. I recommend putting them on the eyes but sometimes the eyes are not easy to track so you can also use the nose. Let's see how this tracks and click uh, analyze forward. seems to be tracking okay alright now that everything's analyzed we're gonna click apply and we want to apply the dimensions X and Y click OK and now watch this when I preview the footage his eyes and his mouth stay stable while the rest of the footage moves around. So now what we want to do is I'm actually going to rename this footage as well, this composition, to uh, Beach Ball Stable. Hopefully that's how you spell stable. And then I'm going to click and drag this Beach Ball Stable into another new comp. And I'm going to rename this comp to Beach Ball Masked. Now what we're going to do in this comp is mask the eyes and mouth. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to actually duplicate this beach ball stable uh, two more times so that we have three layers here. So I'm going to hit control or command D if you're on a Mac. And now we have three total layers. I'm actually going to rename these layers. I'm going to name this to uh, left eye and rename this one right eye and then mouth okay so I want to solo the left eye I want to select the left eye and solo it and I want to come up here to the pen tool and we're gonna mask out this left eye Okay, now that I have that eye masked out, I'm going to go to the right eye and solo this one as well. Make sure you have the layers selected. And then I'm going to go to the mouth, solo this one, come down, and... Just kind of create a little oval there. 
Okay, now what we want to do is unsold that layer, and uh, now we got the eyes and the mouth. What we want to do is select all the layers. I'm going to hold down Shift, select the last layer here, and I'm going to hit M and F on my keyboard to open up the mask feathers. I'm going to feather the left eye at around 35 pixels, and uh, probably the right eye the same. You can play around with these. Maybe around there. Maybe around 19, 20 instead. And then the mouth. And you can always play with the expansions of the mask if you just open this up and uh, play around with those settings. Another thing we can do is we can move around the left eye by going back to the move tool and just selecting it and moving it down, having one eye maybe up more than the other, or just moving them both down to make it look more uh, cartoony, I guess. Have them closer together, just like that. Okay, so now that we got our beach ball masked, we're going to come over here to the beach ball final comp, and we're going to click and drag the beach ball masked footage in above our beach ball image. So now I kind of see it's kind of a little too small, so I'm going to hit S for scale, and I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. It does a little bit too big. Right around there. Okay, now I want to select this um, layer here, and I want to go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, and what you want to do is kind of play around with these saturation settings of the hue, and until you get kind of a matching color, and I played with this before, it's a little bit hard to uh, get the green color out of just uh, playing around with the hue, so we want to come down here and choose Colorize, and then we want to uh, colorize the hue to a nice green color. Okay, and then we're going to bring the color saturation maybe down just a little bit and the lightness down as well. And we can just play around with these colors here until we get the effect that we're looking for. It's going to be kind of hard to match every single thing with a, a color. Um, but you can always just do your best. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, once again, if you have a face on a white background, you know, just make it black and white and uh, that'll work. Obviously, you could probably do better than I am doing right now. But now that we have the face here and we've kind of color corrected it, you can also go to effect, uh, color correction, curves, play around with these, and play around with the different color correction tools and uh, you should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to preview this. I also added the same effect to a potato, and I think the results came out a lot better than this beach ball, uh, but uh, you can try it on different things and uh, you get different results. Okay, and as you can see, that's how you can put a face on any inanimate object in After Effects. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.